I love a good shoulder bag and these are the top five most used shoulder bags that I have on repeat. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave today. And today I wanted to talk about shoulder bags because that is the arm candy that just slides over with ease and you, you're out the door to me. And these are five shoulder carry bags, shoulder only carry bags that I continually move back so, into. You know, I like top handles, I like cross bodies, but today these are my five favorite shoulder bags and I will share why they're the favorite in my collection, but I'm not including my newer shoulder bags. I'm only showing ones that I've carried multiple times. This is my first one and I am so glad I got it before the big craze for these bags. This is the Coach Soho. This is the 2005 era, I believe, and the east-west shape is perfect for the trends right now and honestly this east-west is my favorite now <laughs> style of bag and the shoulder drops amazing the silver hardware these i saw one listed the other day for 150 dollars so <laughs> now that these are popular they are, of course, going for much higher than I paid. So if you like this bag, there are a lot of options in the Soho, but right now they're, they're trending. So a lot of Coach Vintage is trending. This style is trending. You'll want to wait until that kind of subsides and then you can get a better price. Because I only paid around $50, I want to say, for mine. And this is all leather, smooth pink leather. Love this bag. I get why the Y2K bags have come back. They're amazing. <laughs> like I, I thought that I was a crossbody and top handle, which I still love those too. But I have a lot of shoulder bags and this one is definitely on repeat. The next one, we, <laughs> I talk about this constantly. It's because I keep going into it. It's became one of my favorite bags, the MZ Wallace Metro Shoulder. This size is perfect for every day. It is lightweight. I've said, mentioned that many times. The zipper is a big chunky zipper. Smooth, love it. The interior is light. Everything about this bag is the perfect shoulder bag. And then it has all those colors of the clear sequins and on top of that, or on the bottom has that fabric with the sequins that are not sequins. So this right here has been in my rotation over and over for shoulder bags. I can't say enough about the Metro shoulder bag. So that's my second one. This third one I bought last year and I bought this bag with my first YouTube check <laughs> that I got and it has been beautiful. It is the navy blue and yeah I just keep the next fashion chain on this but the shoulder drop is amazing. The Florentine leather is just about flawless. Here's the bottom. It has the feet on the bottom that we, we all love. This again is very similar shape as my MZ Wallace, but this is a little dressier to me and it is a comfortable carry. You could still fit your everyday essentials. I love the red fabric that they use with the navy. It's a good contrast. This is definitely one of those that have been on repeat because it's so easy to go over your shoulder. It's comfortable. It fits everything you need. And this is called 
the navy baguette style. It's baguette and the only con I've mentioned before is this this is a big hole that I feel like they could have done something a little different there but I get why they did it so it matches the other side. Uh, just wish that they would have maybe sewn it a little further down and that way that hole wouldn't be there. But other than that, I love this shoulder bag. The baguette from Dooney and Burke. This is my Louis Vuitton Aina PM. This was one of the first, probably the second Louis Vuitton bag I ever purchased. And I was heavily influenced and it is a great, great bag. You know, it doesn't have the Vaquetta leather. It has the front zipper pocket for your phone. The shoulder drop is amazing. The pull tab, you know, it's the, the Damier Abin print. The shoulder drop is amazing. It's very comfortable over your shoulder. But this one actually holds a lot more if you wanted a shoulder bag that can hold more than those MZ Wallace and Baguette and Soho. So this one I have repeated and repeated and I think I bought this back in 2019 I want to say and it has been phenomenal. I don't have any corner wear to note. Of course I have a lot of bags and the rotation goes and goes so I'm not gonna have the corner wear that someone that carries it every single day but I love the Louis Vuitton Aina PM I would not be happy with the MM it would be too big for me but this right here it holds more than the normal shoulder bag but it's still very lightweight very comfortable on the shoulders even though it's a double strap perfect so this is the Louis Vuitton Aina PM finally the last one that I keep going to is actually a dupe so this is a dupe for the Gucci horse bit 1955 I want to say I got this on Amazon for probably 40 or 50 dollars it's it is PU leather. I, I don't love PU leather, but most of this is that canvas material. And I love the brushed kind of gold hardware that they put on it. It looks very similar to the, the Gucci, but those are not G's at all. <laughs> love the opening detail of this one. If I can open it, you pull up here and then it opens and... That looks weird when you have it out by itself, but it's a great bag. It holds a lot. The shoulder strap can be adjusted shorter to longer with these buttons here on each side. Yeah, I can't say enough about this dupe. It's, it's actually always on repeat because it is neutral. It has awesome hardware i love this bag so this is bag number five and last one and it's a dupe so those are my five most used arm candy shoulder bags that i can't get enough of <laughs> so tell me which one down below is your favorite and if you have one of those and tell me your favorite shoulder bag that you just keep going back to over and over and over I mean, whether it's luxury, contemporary, or a dupe, like, I am open to all kinds of brands. If you're new to my channel, I don't ever stick to one brand. I like to explore brands. I want to know about all the brands, if I yeah. can. And especially Shoulder bags are, for the most part, comfortable, but sometimes there are straps that I have to hold on to. And that bugs me um, to hold it constantly instead of it just staying. So there are some shoulder bags that I don't particularly love that slide down my shoulder. But on the double handle Louis Vuitton, they kind of tuck into each other and you don't have to hold on to them at all. And those other ones I don't hold on to. 
they're the perfect size and yeah that's uh my video for today and the bag of the day is my artwork from Yoda my stargazer Lily and this is my quince hobo bag quince leather is very soft like this hobo bag has just gotten softer with the time I've had it and it also has adjustable strap yes love my new artwork with my hobo bag in this like cream color it's perfect and this is also a comfortable carry but I haven't carried it as much as those other ones <laughs> so that is my video thank you and if you don't mind hitting the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel it's free and I appreciate all of you for coming over and subscribing I've got some new subscribers we talk about handbags accessories favorites collections <laughs> you name it I, I do a vlog here and there but uh, yeah share my channel to anyone that you know that loves handbags have them come on over and I appreciate again you watching this and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss my next video and until next time I'll talk to you soon bye